Uh, hello and welcome to Doctor Who DVD Reviews with Doctor Who the Fourth Doctor. And if you've recently watched my uh, put up review of Attack of the Cybermen, you would have noticed that I've used a different rating system for the DVDs now compared to the one I did for my original Planet of Evil review. Uh, so I'm just going to give a quick rundown on this one. I won't go into all the special features that I did on the previous um, episode. I'm just going to give a bit of a rundown and then give uh, the story out of 10 and the special features out of 10. So, Planet of Evil is a story from Tom Baker's second season as Doctor Who. Uh, it was broadcast between the 27th of September and the 18th of October 1975. It's produced by Philip Hinchcliffe and directed by David Maloney. Written by Louis Marx. Obviously starring the fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane in their first single episode together since Harry left. This is the episode after Harry Sullivan, his companion, left. Inside we've got the usual chapter points, a little bit of information on the episode, and down that side, special features, stock standard Doctor Who, Plunge of Evil DVD cover there. And at the front we've got the Doctor and Sarah on the planet, the planet behind them, uh, the Antimatter Monster from episodes 1 and 2, and Sorensen as the Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde character from 3 and 4 after the Antimatter transforms him. Okay, you sh get the usual stock standard DVD special features here. You get the commentary with Tom Baker, Liz Slayton, Francis Hancock and Philip Hinchcliffe. So there are a few of the people who, were, who worked on this episode. Um, there's a special 25 minute documentary about how they made this episode, also how they did uh, most of the jungle scenes on Ealing Studios, so it made it more realistic to many of the viewers that can make a more realistic jungle set. Um, another documentary of the production of the serial, a brief studio scene from, with original recording material. Continuity compilation, production subtitles, photo gallery, radio times buildings, coming soon trailer for Destiny of the Daleks, I'm pretty sure it is. I haven't watched it for ages. And digitally mastered picture and sound quality. And obviously down the side you get the Planet of Evil, like all the DVD so Doctor Who, Planet of Evil, BBC. Alright, so this story I was the first ever Doctor Who DVD I bought out of all these DVDs. This was the first and this and my new series collection over here. This was the first Doctor Who DVD I ever bought and quite frankly it was one of the best I've, ever, I've bought so far. Definitely I remember because I have watched many Tom Baker episodes not just from DVDs but as when I was a kid they did reruns on the ABC and I got to put into Doctor Who that way but the first ever story I remember vividly is Planet of the Spiders with uh, John Pertwee first ever Doctor Who story I vividly remember watching. I quite enjoyed that but I'm going to get around to watching that soon and I'll probably end up putting a review on that soon. But this was the first ever Doctor Who DVD I bought uh, from the ABC and quite frankly it was, it was fantastic. Lots of horror elements, you know, you don't know what's coming. When I, when I watched it I was much younger so probably scared me a bit but <laughs> I still rather enjoy this episode and watch it from time to time. The commentary with Tom Baker and Liz Sladen and Philip Hinchcliffe, Prentice Hancock's fantastic, they're all having a laughable time there, Tom, Tom's laughing it up, it's all good. Um, so definitely for this story I'd give a 9.5 because it's one of my favourite Tom Baker stories. The, that and Seeds of Doom is another of my favourite Tom Baker stories. So definitely for story I'd give 9.5 just because especially the Doctor Who story I watched on DVD gr much um, grown up much older and um, I really rather enjoyed it now it's got me into this Doctor Who all this Doctor Who I've got to watch <laughs> so it's got me into the series again which is great because it's a great episode it's a great episode to show fans who just want to start watching a Tom Baker episode it's a great episode not too continuity heavy it's great it's a good episode to watch um, and for special features let's just have a quick look uh, there's not much on here but I did enjoy the documentary so I'll probably give Oh, seven. I can't really get much more than that. There's n not much on here at all. But um, if if it didn't have that making of documentary, all the well, they all have commentary, all the fantastic commentary with Tom, because I love uh, 
when Tom Bacon does his commentaries. Um, it'd probably be much less because otherwise, there's, after those two things, the commentary and the making of, there's not really much left on the uh, DVD. So that's just a quick little update to my Planet of Evil review. And uh, if you want to watch the original first part, that'll give you a bit more in-depth into this uh, DVD. So thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you next week with a new review. All right. Thank you for watching my extended review of Planet of Evil.